Hey coaches, appreciate you tuning in my YouTube station. Uh, this is Coach Simpson coming to you this week. We're talking about defensive terminology. So went through, you know, what are gaps and what is gap integrity and how do you accomplish that in your defense. We're talking about keys. Today we're going to talk about leverage or a fit. And you hear those words talked about a lot uh, because they're very important defensively. Uh, but what does that actually mean? And why am I putting that third here in the order of gaps, keys, and then leverage is usually the the, the order that we would teach that. Next couple days we'll talk about cover, whatever match, matchup zone, what does that mean, what does that look like? And then finally force, which kind of plays a little bit into fits today, but we're gonna go a little more in depth with it on the next uh, episode. If you haven't already guys, appreciate if you'd like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, just trying to continue to get the viewership up, the likes up so I can keep putting stuff out each week. Uh, this week's on defense. Also, got my books in. Uh, really, really excited about them. Uh, it's an overview, so if you want to get in depth on three, four on my stuff, uh, you can go get that book now. Those are, ship are shipping out already. And so, uh, if you haven't got yours yet, I'm about to order another batch already. Uh, thank you guys for the, the support that I've already done. So, all right, so let's talk real quickly about uh, leverage and fits. So, we teach it in the order of what is a gap to our defense. So, you need to understand the broad concept of a gap, B gap, C gap, D gap. They need to understand all that stuff. Then we teach them about keys. What do I look that's going to take me my first few steps? After I've gone my first few steps, it's all about the ball. I mean, if you're playing defense, it's all about stopping the ball, tackling the ball, containing the ball, whatever you're supposed to do. It's all about that. So that's when we get to this point of teaching leverage or fits. Both words mean the same in my book. It's just you know, how do you want to talk to your kids? We talk a lot about leverage um, because we talk about tracking hips or tracking the backside of a hip um, on maintaining inside leverage or our fit is another word for that. Or we'll talk, I'll get to force about staying outside. It's very simple term. It's a very simple concept. Is not coached enough in my opinion. I know that that's something we want to do more and more of, and we're going to continue to do more and more of because you know, tackling is important, but if I can get multiple guys to understand how they fit on a ball carrier, then we, can, we can't ever stop great ball carriers. We can hopefully neutralize guys by telling our defensive players, we're asking you to fit and take care of this half of the ball carrier. Now, there's times you've got to make a tackle open space, you just got to do it. But if you'll fit how we're telling you to fit or you'll maintain your leverage, you ought to have help. And that's why it's not one-on-one -on -one football. For us, defensively, we're wanting to swarm the ball with 11 guys fitting in the correct place. That's why also if you look at the book I put out, it's called The Fit and Swarm because you can't swarm and run crazy until you learn where you're fitting, where your leverage is. So, easiest drill you can do, and you can do it at all levels, you can do it individually, you can do it in group. I put some, I think if you go back a couple weeks on YouTube here, I actually put our kind of our pursuit drill. We like to do it actually more with two-on-ones or one-on-ones. Defensive line is generally always, for us, going to be an inside leverage player, an inside fitter. So a lot of times what they will do, here's the ball carrier, and that can be a player, that can be whatever you want. We're going to have them do some kind of shed block drill, and then the ball carrier is here, and we're coming down the heel line. You know, We want to make sure our kids start learning, hey, we're fitting here. We're down the heel line. You're never going to run down that 4-5 or five running back on a sweep. But if he cuts back and you maintain your leverage and your fit and give him no space, no room to breathe for the cutback, that's when your play is going to happen. So a lot of times our team's linemen, their leverage and their fit is not only inside, it's flat down the line. Because what you're going to fight, everyone fights at every level, that we want to come up field and bow out and circle and chase because that's path of least resistance. And I tell our guys, if you were that fast and could tackle a running back doing that, we're going to win 100 to nothing. But re reality is, you better come flat down the line, that's your only chance. Okay, so that's their main leverage and fit. It's gonna be an inside leverage player and flat down the line. With our linebackers, we teach outside and inside linebackers how to fit with each other. 95% of the time, our outside linebackers are responsible for outside leverage, outside fit. So, ball carrier goes here, I'm working to fit ahead of him. The inside linebacker is tracking back almost like a U. Okay, that's really hard to teach because usually what happens at the high school level is those kids who are playing linebacker or DB for you, and we do the same thing with our DBs. I've got them drawn up here, but it's the same thing. We might add a back pedal and add some space. Same drill. 
what happens a lot is that kid in the fifth grade, sixth grade, fourth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, even ninth grade was the best athlete on the field. So he basically had to make every tackle. And so he has no idea when you talk about leverage and fit what that even means. Because to him it was see ball, get ball. You know, and that's, that's a great athlete does that. But at some point when you move up levels in football, the playing field starts to kind of even out. And now you got to function as a unit, as a team. And so that's what you really have to work. It's not so much out of your outside guys. Those guys pretty much get it. You still got to coach the coach them up because we got to let them know hey, if you give up the edge, it's touchdown. But those guys are pretty. It's a pretty simple concept. Set the edge. Set the edge. Set the edge. The harder one, in my opinion, is the guys that have to track backside because when they see this, they want to do that. They want to fit and go chase and go make a tackle because that's what they did for probably the last five, six, seven, eight years as they came up. And what happens is a good running back sees this guy overplaying it and he cuts it right there and that's when you start to have your problems and so this is a drill we do often outside guys got to set the edge and a lot of times we'll do different things with our backs we'll have them dance and try to get them to bite and then jump to get outside of them because we're going to harp on them on maintaining outside leverage inside guy we stay on all the time about don't try to overrun them that's why i'm not a big fan of those pursuit drills where we set cones up and we ask our inside linebacker to turn and run sideways I don't want them to ever do that. I don't even want our safeties to really do that. So we try to always work on pursuit drills or even two-on-one drills or one-on-one -on -one drills where we're tagging off on a hip or it's coming downhill at that player. And that'll help you a little bit, but that's what the term fit and leverage means, and that's why it's so important. If you don't have good leverage, if you don't have good fits, you're you're playing one-on-one -on -one football. You're not playing 11-on-one -on -one and gaining that bonus player. The one advantage defenses have is that if the offense is not going to run their quarterback, you ought to have more guys and have at least one free hat, maybe two or three free hats going to the ball. You give that up if we're not coaching up leverage and coaching up fits. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, you can go on my website and get the book. You can go to CoachTube and get more stuff on my system if you'd like to. Or you can just like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll continue to put out content uh, free of charge. Appreciate it.